So this is how to create a tabbed interface using InfoWise tab settings. I have an example project that I've created and I've divided my fields into three sections. I have a definition section, a workflow section, and a history section. When you're setting up your tools using InfoWise, you want to think about logical groupings for your fields. This allows you to create a progressive form where a user can be presented just the information they need for a section before moving on to the next. To set this up, go into the tab settings area and create sections for each area of your tabbed interface. Type in a value for the name, click on add, and then all you need to do is highlight the tab which you want to modify. Now that I have my section highlighted, I just go to the tab column association area and I can pick the fields that I need. Highlight the field, then click on the double right arrow, or you can double click the field as well. That's another way to do it. If needed, you can put in section headers. And this just adds a title above that section of fields. You can use the drop down arrows to control the order of the fields. So you can set an index value and it automatically reorders those fields for you. If you've added a field that you don't need or if you want to get rid of one, you just click on the X to get rid of that. You can optionally add in fragments of text or code. This would be if you want to do some advanced formatting. For example, if I wanted to add an image or, or something that's outside of the flow of the regular form. Once you've done that, be sure to click on the save to update those fields. And when you go to your interface, if you go back to your interface, you can check your progress of your work. Now I have another section, which I called final section, and it shows the fields that I've selected along with the header.